Welcome to footballgameplan.com, where football makes sense. I'm Emory Hunt, the czar of the playbook, bring you our 2013 preseason Division III All-American team. Now, there's many players across the country that are worthy of being on this list, so let's name our first team All-American, starting with the quarterback position. McCollum Foote out of Middlebury had an impressive campaign last year. You look at 31 touchdowns, only 8 interceptions, and completed over 63% of his passes and this guy has the size that you want at the quarterback position 6'4 195 pounds I'm expecting big things this year coming out of foot Cartel Brooks has been impressive since he stepped foot on campus. You go back to his freshman year, he had over 750 yards rushing. Last year as a sophomore, over 1,200. So if history is any indication, this guy should have at least 16 to 1,700 yards this season running the football. Derek Mortensen out of Knox College is a physical runner, six feet, 220 pounds, and he definitely makes that offense go. Last year rushed for over 1,300 yards at 5.3 yards a carry and scored 17 touchdowns, and he's no stranger to the end zone. In 2011, he also scored 11 touchdowns. Kyle Linfield definitely has the respect of his team. He's already been named the 2013 team captain, but you look at last year's production, 21 touchdowns, 16 yards a catch, and over 1,400 yards receiving. Definitely one of the best players in Division Three. Alex Barofio, a.k.a. Mr. Reliable, was able to overcome spotty quarterback play last year for Washington and Jefferson to catch almost 700 yards, and he's the team leader with 78 receptions. Ohio Wesling's tight end Calvin Cagney was a third-team All-American last year and finished the season with 66 receptions for almost 700 yards. I had to find a spot for Framington State's Malik Van Alstyne. This guy is my all-purpose player, 5'10", 195 pounds. Last year rushed for nearly 1,800 yards and 18 touchdowns and back in 2010 was named the Northeast Football Conference Rookie of the Year. Nathan Yelton is a dominating presence on the interior of the offensive line at 5'11", 252 pounds. Last year was an All-American and also an All-West Region player. Offensive tackle Arvin Jennifer out of Johns Hopkins racked up the accolades last year, was an AFC All-American, D3Football.com All-American, and a consensus All-Centennial Conference performer. Junior center Floyd Schaefer out of Sal, Virginia has been an integral part to the Seahawks' offensive success the last two seasons. Steven Schultz out of Linfield is one of the premier tackles in Division III, a two-year starter and second-team All-West Region selection last year. Aaron Coling out of Wittenberg has gotten better each and every year, was named first-team All-Division III Ohio last year, as well as first-team All-NCAC. Matt Feshko is one of the best defensive linemen in Division III. Last year, he had eight sacks, and he's been solid since his freshman year on campus. Brian Narcisse is a guy that consistently made play after play last year. 67 tackles, 18 and a half TFLs. Definitely a guy you want to keep an eye on this upcoming season. Brennan Highland out of Linfield was a consensus All-American last year, first team, and was virtually unblockable with his 17 and a half sacks, definitely living behind the line of scrimmage. In 2011, Tyree Coleman out of Hobart was named the East Coast Athletic Conference Rookie of the Year. And last year, he had a big season. 17 and a half sacks, 30 TFLs, had a big game versus Utica with four and a half sacks. Devin Worthington is one of the best linebackers regardless of division and is very productive. Last year, 21 and a half TFLs, but when you go back to his freshman year in 2010, he was the Liberty League Rookie of the Year. In 2011, he was named Liberty League Defensive Player of the Year, and last year finally made the All-American team. So when you talk about production, you're talking about Devin Worthington. 
Seth Mathis out of Bethel is one of my favorite linebackers in the country. This guy is a very fluid player, which allowed him to get 130 tackles last season and was a consensus All-American selection. Sostein Capula is a guy out of Wesley that definitely filled up the stat sheet last season. He was a second-team All-American, Division3Football.com, first-team All-South region. He had 120 tackles, 13 TFLs, four forced fumbles, but also was effective in pass coverage with nine pass breakups. Andre Carter is a two-time first-team All-Empire 8 Conference performer, and Quiet has kept each and every game quarterbacks avoid throwing to his side of the field. Keith Villafranco out of Mississippi College led the Choctaws in interceptions with five, also had six forced fumbles, and was named a 2012 All-American, All-South Region performer, as well as first-team All-ASC. Strong safety Shane Durkin had an outstanding 2012 campaign, was named first team all conference, all CCIW, had 65 tackles on the season, but had a big game versus Carthage with two interceptions. Brian Gary out of Waynesburg is a big safety with range that can cover sideline to sideline and has been a three time all president's athletic conference performer. Punter Brandon Abbott has one of the strongest legs in the country, a guy that averages over 42 and a half yards a punt, seven of which landed inside the 20-yard line. Kevin Grady serves as both the kicker and the punter for the Bulldogs. Last year averaged over 36 and a half yards a punt and had a long field goal of 45 yards. I'm a big fan of Jesse Ramos, who did a lot of great things as a freshman last year, had two kickoff returns for touchdowns at a 100-yard return, versus Mississippi College and a 96-yard return versus William Met. As a receiver, caught almost 500 yards and seven touchdowns. Sam Thompson out of Carnegie Mellon was named to the BSN All-American team as well as an academic All-American. He set a school record last year with a 92-yard punt return versus Wabash and finished the season with 20 returns for 307 yards. Now let's take a look at our second team All-Americans starting with the offensive side of the football and there's still some great players coming from some great programs on this list. You look at the running back Evan Bunker out of Trinity. Down on the offensive line, two guys stand out in particular, Andrew Pankow out of Cal Lutheran and Jace Werkheiser out of North Central. But one guy I want you to focus on, Kevin Burke, the quarterback out of Mountain Union, 5'10", 185 pounds, was an all-purpose player last year for the Purple Raiders, led them to another national title. New coaching staff comes in. How effective will he be? I think he'll still be the same and put up some more All-American type numbers. Now let's take a look at our second team defensive All-Americans. And when you look at that linebacking core, you have to come away impressed. Dominic Forrest out of Linfield, Tremaine Williams out of St. Thomas, and Nick Bricker out of the College of New Jersey. That's an impressive group of linebackers. Even safety Hakeem Bar McFarland out of Augsburg is a guy that's on a radar of a lot of NFL scouts with that size and his big playability, keep an eye on him moving forward. And Zach Morgan out of Hampton, Sydney, I'm expecting to see even bigger things from him this upcoming season.